Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Outlaw Molotov. Being a big fan of Red Dead Online, I would like to show you guys how to find three treasures easily in Red Dead Online. Scarcity of money is very frustrating in this game, so finding treasures is a good way to earn some easy cash. These two men are killers. Since you guys already know, depending on each player's session locations for each treasure changes. However, if you follow this order of the treasure hunting in a one single session, which I am going to show you in this video, you will find these three treasures in the shown locations. So let's further ado, start finding treasures one by one. Okay, the first treasure we are going to find is located at Diablo Ridge, which is on the south to the strawberry. You will find this treasure map after ranking up to 30. The second one though, will be found after ranking up to 25, which is located at Brandywine near Annasburg. And the third you will receive for completing daily challenges trick for 21 days, which is located at Hennigan's estate near Armadillo. Keep in mind guys, the order is very important to get the treasures in the shown locations. After you reach to the Diablo Reef, head towards the north direction of the marked parameter. You should feel a little vibration in your gamepad and if you continue moving closer to the north of the location, you will see the vibration intensity increases. Also, turn on your eagle vision while moving so that you can see a golden light coming over from the distance. Let's show you guys the map and you can see the treasure is almost on the north side of the marked location. Alright, let's collect our hard earned treasure. Oh yes, a tree log our treasure is must be inside. Well, our second one is on Brandy Wine Drop. Open your satchel and go to Documents and open the list of available treasures. Select Brandy Wine Drop. This is located a little far from Annasburg, so let's fast travel using the nearest fast travel check post. If you think it is not worth it to spend a little extra money on first travel, you can always press the cinematic view. Pressing the X button and enjoy beautiful countryside while having some snacks. In my case, I am using fast travel. Open up the first travel menu and find out Annasburg. Wow, it's nice! It will only cost $4. After reaching Annasburg, head toward the mark location. Although, keep in mind while traveling, don't let your mind baffled on hunting after seeing any elk or deer passing by. We are here to find treasures. Keep it real, elk can wait, okay? I'm forwarding this journey a little bit. By the way, be aware of Cadwar. This stupid creature gave me a hard time while tracking to this location. Now at Brandywine Drop, first thing we need to do is find out the fall in our vicinity. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Another thing I need to tell you is this place is quite dangerous. So be very cautious while sprinting. I have died several times. Once you see the fall, start moving towards it because the treasure is located at the right side cliff of the waterfall. Climb up a little while, turning on your eagle eye will see a golden light coming over a dead body. Voila, the treasure is yours. Alright, after reaching back to Addisburg, we are going to collect our last treasure map from Hannigan's estate. Open up your satchel and go to Documents tab, select Hennigan Steel. This location is near to New Austin and east of the Armadillo. If you are far from the destination, use fast travel as I am doing so. A question just popped into my mind, which location do you guys like the most? Drop a comment below. In my case, I love Valentine and loathe New Austin. 
Many times I face a problem traveling from one point to another is falling from the rocky cliffs. For instance, if you try to go off the track, I mean without following the waypoint, often time you will find yourself on a cliff and your horse shouts at you for this. Alright, now I am at Hennigan 16. I think that this reserve was little easier to find compared to the previous two. It is an open area and you can easily track clues from distance. However, this treasure map requires you to follow a few steps which I am about to show you. Step 1. After reaching at this location, first thing you will need to do is to find out a small fall. Once you see the fall, follow east from your map's compass. Step 2. After walking a few distance to east, you will find an abandoned wagon. For most of the cases, your treasure should be here is spot, you need to follow the final step. Step 3. Go few years forward from the fallen card and take right and you will see another wagon. Enable eagle eye and you will see the holy yellow light of money. everyone for watching comment below if you guys find this video helpful or if you guys know any other easier way to find these treasures i'm new to youtube but i will be posting videos regularly subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so that you don't miss any notifications about new videos